To begin, hit pause and read through the problem. I'm going to guide you through the steps to do this question. Often when you read a problem, it seems as though your mind shifts into neutral. You read, but not much registers. So much is coming at you at once. The secret to understanding and making it clear is to sketch a diagram. We'll begin with what's called our before picture. And here's how it works. We read it through and draw it. A 0.25 kilogram steel ball traveling to the right at a velocity of 4.5 meters per second. I see it collides head on with a 0.3 kilogram steel ball traveling leftward. The velocity is 5 meters per second. Now these two balls form a system and there's a momentum of the system. So what I would like you to do is hit pause and find the momentum of each ball. Now what's happening here is happening on a straight line. It's a linear momentum we will find. The momentum is mass times velocity. We have the 0.25 times the 4.5 and we can multiply that and get a momentum and we see that it's positive for that ball moving to the right. But the ball on the right, its momentum is mv, it's moving left. Notice the minus sign. The negative velocity moving to the left is extremely important. Get that wrong and you will get the entire question wrong. So we calculate the momentum and find it to be negative 1.5 kilogram meters per second. Now again, this is a system. The one ball, the other ball coming together and the two momentums together give the momentum of this system before they collide. We take those two momentums, add them, and notice we get negative 0.375. There's an overall momentum of this system before they collide to the left. We now have this momentum. Let's set it aside. Now we will look at the after picture. So we read it and we again sketch out what's happening. The 0.25 kilogram ball is traveling to the left. And the ball on the right, we don't know what's happening. Does it move to the right after the collision? Does it move to the left? We can't tell right now. So what we do is what we can do, which is find the momentum of that first ball. And it is, notice the negative two. It's moving to the left. We can calculate that momentum quite easily and we find it is a negative 0.5 momentum. The ball on the right, we don't know what it is and we'll call it P sub X. What we do know is that the total momentum of this system after the collision is equal to the total momentum of this system before they collided. The momentum afterwards is that first ball plus unknown P sub X. It must equal that momentum before. It's easy now to solve for the momentum. <laughs> and we find the momentum and it's positive, meaning that ball will move to the right. But they've asked us for the velocity. I've seen many students stop after finding the momentum, think they finished the question, but no, we're asked to find the velocity. We know the momentum of that ball and we know it's positive to the right and we set it equal to the formula for momentum for that ball, mass times velocity. And we solve for the velocity by saying the momentum of the ball divided by the mass of that ball, the kilograms cancel, and we find 0.42 meters per second to the right. 